from Emory University School of Medicine, Dr. Ajay Andam. Thank you. All these new pandemic rituals, the taking off the mask at the podium, getting used to it. Thank you, Vice President Harris. It is an honor to be here with you and to follow the path paved by your mother and all the brilliant researchers that came before and whose shoulders, whose shoulders we stand upon. To the First Lady, thank you for your empathy and for truly understanding the pain and the promise that is this fight. I am thrilled to be able to be here to introduce someone that many of us consider to be the country's patient advocate in chief, President Joe Biden. From my vantage point as a neurosurgeon scientist, constantly thinking of ways to treat cancer patients, to fight cancer, and seeing countless patients every year. And as a board member of the National Brain Tumor Society, I can confidently say that this is the most exciting moment in the history of our field. As a, physician, as a physician today, when seeing patients with aggressive cancers like metastatic melanoma or lung cancer, I know that many more of them will see durable remissions after treatments with therapies that harness the body's immune system to fight their cancer. As a researcher, I know that NIH has created grants targeting brilliant young investigators. Yes, that's, that's me. <laughs> that encourage us uh, to take risks and chart new directions for our work. As an advocate, knowing that there is a president who is throwing the full weight of the presidency behind this effort means that even between big announcements like this one, all levers of government are being pulled to create a brighter future for cancer patients. This is also an exciting moment for me personally because I'm here. As a son of Ghanaian immigrants who came to the United States with nothing, there was a time when I could not participate in the scientific discussion in the United States. We have a ways to go before we're harnessing all of the diverse talents of our country. People of every race, ability, gender, gender and orientation. But the progress that we have made means that we're constantly bringing new ideas to this challenge. I stand here as a husband to Kelly, a father to Joseph, who's nine, and Emily, six, to tell you that this is a moment to believe in a healthier future for all families, to believe that we can end cancer as we know it, to believe in science, and to believe in America. Standing firm in that belief, it is my honor to introduce the person charting the course ahead with vision purpose, and so much hope. The 46th President of the United States, our Advocate-in-Chief, Joe Biden. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm Joe Biden, Joe Biden's husband.